My name is Tristan Pritchard. I'm Chief Executive of St David's Hospice. And I'd just like to talk to you a bit about the experiences um, that the hospice has gone through since COVID struck us back in March. Now, to begin with, it was a very difficult uh, and traumatic time for everybody, but it did hit the hospice very hard in terms of the effects on our ability to fundraise and also to deliver our services. And the main thing is that, that throughout all of this, that we managed to keep our inpatient services for our most vulnerable patients open. And that's an amazing testament to, to our clinical staff, the way they, they battled through all the adversity uh, and kept services for patients when they needed the most so we're incredibly grateful for that but there's no getting away from the fact that it was a very much a, a battle um, from, from around about March time when we realized very soon we would have to close all of our 26 charity shops losing uh, hundreds of thousands of pounds of income there we had to cancel all our um, major fundraising events for 2020 which is an important link for us with our communities and also a huge fundraising uh, opportunities for us there we also had to cancel uh, over a thousand cash collections for our lottery players um, so our link with with that side of things also fell apart really from March, which, which was really, really difficult for, for all of our team. Then we had to close our two cafes, one in Llandidno and Llangevni, uh, another great shame. Both of those things are, are very much fixtures in their communities, but that all had to cease. So you can imagine how difficult it has been to, to battle through these times. And I think it's a great testament to, to everyone involved that, that we're still here and, and still delivering the services. Fast forwarding a bit to the period between April and June, we maintained our patient services. Uh, all our patients were cared for uh, in the same way as we usually would have. But we realised uh, we had to fight our way out of this situation to, to, to survive and be here for the people who needed us. So we launched a £1 million recovery fund. And it was a £1, a £1 million fund because that was approximately the, the damage, if you like, that Covid had done to our fund fundraising uh, potential and the amount of income we were set to lose um, over 2020. So it was a huge battle. We had some amazing support from our communities. Also, many of you will have seen how the great Orm goats of Llandidno took over the town as everybody else was staying at home, and that gained a lot of publicity worldwide. So we took forward some plans that we had to, to take advantage maybe of our, of our neighbours, the goats, on the, on the Great Orm. We started the merchandising range, which included t-shirts, soft toys, key rings, and, and a range of other things as well. And we were completely overwhelmed by, by the demand and, and the, the, the favour which, which people found with, the, with these um, pieces of merchandise. So that was a, a fantastic success story for us. It's incredible how far it reached. We, we've had t-shirt sales from as far afield as, as the United States and Japan. And that's now raised over £100,000 for us. So out of some of these adverse, adverse situations, um, some great innovations have, have come forward as well. Since April we've had uh, £197,000 from the Welsh Government, which we are grateful for, but it goes nowhere near to covering the, the costs that we need to, to keep uh, our services going. So, so the battle really was in our hands and up to us to try and make sure that we were there for, for whoever needed us. As, as a result of that, um, the recovery fund um, gathered pace. Uh, and we were able uh, eventually to, to develop some of the ideas we've had previously in terms of some merchandising, some innovation, some different fundraising projects to take forward. And we're very pleased that, with the response that we had um, from our communities. So looking at the period then after the initial shock, if you like, of, of what happened in April and everybody getting used to the new reality, one of the things we had to do was close our day therapy services, which was a big blow to a lot of our patients and families who, who had um, serious needs um, for support. So we adapted our services and developed a new hospice at home service, which meant our nurses and healthcare workers went out to patients' home, homes and delivered as much of the care as we could under the circumstances to them. So that was a very important innovation for us and a very important point to make to our patients and, and our communities that we, we wanted to be there when they needed us still. One of the highlights of the summer for us was the response to our summer raffle, which eventually brought in over £76,000 over a number of weeks, which was quite astonishing really. So as part of our recovery as well, um, we eventually, as the restrictions were lifted, managed to open some of our, our charity shops in the, in the towns and villages across North West Wales. And the response from the public was very strong in coming back to us to shop with us, which, which was very, very encouraging. And as far as our service goes, our inpatient service is virtually back to normal now and, and the demand and the need for our hospice at home service continues to grow. Thank you so much for keeping our doors open. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for donating to our shops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, Diolch Mawr iawn. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for all of your donations. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a million. Diolch Mawr. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Diolch Mawr iawn. Thank you very much, Diolch Mawr iawn. So you've heard quite a lot about the experiences we've had as a hospice over the last few months. You've heard about some of the experiences people have had and the success stories, but also the huge battle that we've had to fight to still be here today. Now that battle doesn't finish, um, but we've, we're, we're certainly making great progress in making sure that we're, we're safe and sustainable for the future. So I mentioned earlier about our £1 million recovery fund, and I'm delighted to say that we're halfway there. Um, and we've already raised half a million pounds of what we needed to make sure that we can still be there for, for those people who need us in the future. So that's a great note to, to finish on. Um, it's a heartfelt thank you from myself and everybody else involved um, and we hope you stay with us as, as we continue to, to deliver the, the, the excellent care service that we always have for the people of North West Wales. <laughs>